Hello and welcome back. Uh, if you didn't watch my last video, I painted the pilot of the gun tank and I figured I might as well record the next bit that I'm painting, which is, uh, if you'll see this, and yeah, I'm using freehand for a moment here since uh, it's gonna be easier. Hopefully the audio is alright. If not, I'll just re-record it so you won't be hearing this, but... Yeah, as you can see here, uh, kind of, the actual painting they did is a little bit weak compared to the line art over here where it has a bit more visible streaks on it. And also, as you can see, there's a bit on the actual cannons, so I'm going to be doing that on my actual figure. First thing I need to do is cut the parts off the runner, but uh, obviously that's not what this video is about, so I'll just skip ahead until they're cleaned up. And also, <laughs> I'll have the camera on a proper mount. Alright, there we go. Everything has been cut out and cleaned up. Enough, anyway. Uh, hopefully my audio is not too bad. I had to move the camera pretty close to my head. Uh, thankfully, where I'm going to be painting will actually be in frame this time, so... Anyway, I already have my paints uh, shaken up, and I'll be using these brushes. Just going to be using uh, a little bit of Leomeca Silver and Black and Medium Gray. The black I'm going to be using on its own and also mixing it with the gray later. So let's get painting. And I'm thinking I'm only going to need one drop of black for all of the barrels, honestly. Also, I uh, have the tracks back there cut off because I'm going to be reusing the uh, leftover wash to do those because I'm lazy and don't want to do it all by gun to marker. Uh, let's see, let's, let's start with these. Get some black. I'll get this actually in frame so you can actually see it. Uh, like, and you can see, like, like paint, you really don't need to use that much to get a pretty solid, clean coating. And maybe I should use a smaller brush <laughs> for these ones, at least. Because uh, I just want to get it into the bottom and not around the top. So yeah, actually I'll do these first and then I'll swap over to another brush and we'll do those. And with these ones I'm just going to put a bit of black about halfway down. Clean off the extra that comes out of it. It doesn't need to be perfect because it's going to be in shadow anyway so you're barely going to be able to tell. Really all you want to make sure is that it doesn't go on the outside. Yeah, and like I said, it doesn't really have to be perfect. As long as it's largely straight, it should be fine. Alright, that's one. I'll, uh, I'll fast forward through this so you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to sit through all of this. Alright, I'm going to swap over to a smaller brush, like I said. In fact, it's my smallest brush. And uh, it's a little bit worse for wear these days, but... I do plan on repairing it a bit at a later date, and this will in fact fit very nicely down into the barrel. Now 
And in fact, I'm just going to snip off that stray hair. There we go, that should be much better. And the, the little bit of paint there isn't too big of a deal, I'm going to clean that up anyway. Anyway, uh, I was going to let it dry for a little bit, but honestly it seems to have dried already. Just going to use a uh, slightly shaved toothpick, and that should take that off without any trouble. See, there we go. So I'm going to uh, Actually, you can't really see the uh, inside of the barrels given the lighting, but uh, it'll look better once I'm done. Anyway, I'm just going to uh, pause and clean these up. All right, we're back. I uh, obviously have that done now. I'm actually going to be putting these together for the rest of it, just because it'll be easier for me. So uh, I, I did take these out just so that it'd be easier later, and. Honestly, judging by the, uh, the actual mold, it doesn't seem like it's too degraded, so I might not bother removing the seam line on the... Yeah, no, actually the seam line down the barrel isn't that bad. I mean, it's noticeable, obviously, it's a seam line, but it's, it's not actually too bad. So, considering I don't really care... <laughs> I think I'm just going to leave these and not clean up the seams later. Yeah, remember when I said that they lined up pretty well? This one doesn't really want to. <laughs> Still not too bad, but on the back for some reason there might be some plastic in here that doesn't want to line up, but... Yeah, it's not too hard to just split that apart a little bit later on. And put a little tiny bit of cement in there and just... Hold it like that for a bit. That'll line it up. I don't actually mind the seam line that much, like I said. It's just that. And you can see that that little bit of black actually does make the barrels look nicer. So anyway, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna touch all the barrels just around the very edge with uh, this brush. With just a very, very small amount of silver. I did put two drops of silver down, and that's mostly just so that it uh, comes out a little bit smoother. I find you get a little bit more paint and gets a slightly better texture. Plus, I don't really use silver that much, so it's not that much of a waste. I just want this to be uh, fairly thin, honestly. You don't want to use that much. You're basically just dry brushing it onto the barrel. Just sort of tap the inner edge of the barrel a bit. Just get that little bit of silver in there. I guess you just want it just on the inner edge. Tap 
top because you don't actually want that much up there. A little bit around the outside is fine, but it's mostly meant to be on the inside of it. And I'll, uh, I'll do the same for these now. It's a very subtle effect, but you can see the ends are a little bit shinier now. Uh, it's mostly just around the actual inside of the barrel itself, gives that slight sheen on it, and it looks like it's actually firing something instead of just being, you know, plastic. Alright, that's all the silver I'm using. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like I said, it's a very subtle effect, but I do quite like how it looks. Plus it makes the uh, black wash for the slight sort of burn soot finish on it stand out a bit more. Speaking of wash. Personally, I... Uh, yeah, you just one drop actually because <laughs> I'm not really using that much on this and it doesn't need to be that thick so you don't actually use that much paint using medium gray and black it's just one to one and I'll water it down since uh, this is a water-based acrylic you can just do this with water just left some water in my brush and that Actually thinking about it, I believe it's actually a two to one mix. Make that three to one. <laughs> I remember it being darker. I uh, I may have used slightly less gray the last time I did this, but yeah, there we go. That's the uh, color I was looking for. Because you don't want straight black. You want very slightly off black. It's looking a little bit blue right now, but that's not going to look like that once it's dry, so that's fine. I just want more water. And uh, like you can see, I, I have a ton of this left over, so I'm going to be using it on those treads. That'll be fine. Yeah, the, uh, the water makes it turn a little bit blue, but it dries fine, so you don't really have to worry about that. You don't actually want very much on your brush when you're doing this. Yeah. Let's uh, start with these ones, actually. What you want to do is you just kind of want to paint it like this. <laughs> Then make most of it off. Uh, actually, if I remember correctly, this actually may be still a little bit too much paint because you really don't need that much. Yeah, 
you see, what you don't want to do is uh, scrape the paint off. You just want to take off some of it by tapping your finger against it. I would probably recommend scraping it a little bit just to make it a little bit lighter. A little bit too much off there, so just put it back on and tap it. Big. <laughs> you want to be sort of doing this with the uh, more watery, and honestly, it needs to be a bit more watery than even this. super easy to uh, clean off and that around there is fine I just want to uh, I see that's a little bit too watery now <laughs> it's hard to get exactly the right consistency but when you do it uh, looks really good so I'm just gonna keep trying here for a little bit there we go. That's that's better. See, the thing is, if it's not thick enough, it uh, doesn't leave any paint behind when the water clicks together, and that's how you get the uh, sort of look. See, there we go. That's that's better. Starting to get it now. That's how it works. There we go. And you just want to kind of tap it lightly just to get that extra off. Not all of it. There's just well, another coat. <laughs> just sort of slowly build up a layer. And honestly, that's not too bad now. Bring that up to the camera so you can actually uh, kind of see how it looks like, and actually turn the light over this way so that you get a slightly better look. Yeah, it's a little bit dark, maybe, but honestly, the uh, the actual line art gives it a slightly darker finish than the uh, paint job that they put on it, so. go now it's just to repeat that process on the other nine barrels so this may take a while All right, I'm, I'm just letting uh, these dry for a bit, and I figured I'd start on these. I already have this side done, and it's definitely very subtle, which is what I wanted. Just a little bit of shading. And uh, now I'm just going to do it on this side, which I figured would be better to record since the, uh, the spikes in the middle <laughs> Might make it a little bit of a longer process.
Again, this is just a wash of some paint and water. Not exactly hard to make. And I think it gives quite nice results, honestly. Is it accurate that the last couple treads here don't have this detailing? Bit of an odd thing to do, but anyway, now I have to do the other side. It's actually a very small amount of paint. It's watered down so much that it uh, lasts quite a while. And uh, there we have one of these done. A uh, little bit of paint here now, <laughs> but that's uh, that's fine. It's just a little bit of dirt in the treads, right? Uh, anyway, I don't think you guys want to watch me have to do another one of these, so I'll just skip ahead. And by then, the uh, paint on those should be dry enough that we can take a look at how they turned out. Yeah, I'm just gonna clean some paint off my hands before I touch any of this. Give me a moment. All right, that's both the treads done. Not too bad. <laughs> a little bit more paint in some spots than I would have wanted, but uh, it's clean enough that I'm not going to complain. Shouldn't be too hard to clean up. And uh, I'm actually going to be doing these with the Gundam marker, so let's get that up to the camera. There we go. You can see that while it's a, like I said, a lot heavier than the paint job they put on it, it does actually decently match the line art. Though uh, it is a little bit heavier even then. But honestly, I quite like it. And, uh... Of course, it looks a bit darker here anyway, because white background. So... Once I do the review, it'll look a lot better up against the uh, the gray. I'll put a better uh, picture in now, anyway. Ugh, this is going to be a nightmare to edit. <laughs> anyway, that's all. He's been painted. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments. Subscribe for future well, I'm not sure how many more of these I'm going to be doing, but like I said in my last video, I will be reviewing the gun tank, so subscribe for that. Hit the bell so you get a notification about it. Feel free to watch my backlog. I have quite a few other reviews. And as always, until next time, happy building.